Hello and welcome to the Hansville hoodie sewing tutorial. So right now we are going to cut the pattern pieces out and I'm gonna use my projector to do that. And projectors are kind of new, so I wanted to just take a little moment to show you how I get mine going. Now I use a MacBook and I have a Vivi image. So I'm going to select iOS cast. Okay, and then I go to my computer, which you can't see, and the little square with the triangle, I go up there to AirPlay and I find the name of my Vivi image and then I select it. Okay, so now you can see that the pattern pieces are displayed, but I have to make sure that my zoom is correct. So I go to my layers panel in Adobe and I'm going to turn on my one inch grid because my cutting mat is a one inch grid. And I'm gonna turn all my other layers off so I can clearly see my grid. Now, if you can see that, the grid is very small. So I already know that the way that I project, my zoom has to be 35%. So I type 35% in, hit enter, and now it's bigger. And then I'm just going to check that's correct. And it's not. So I'm gonna go up into how I'm casting. Okay, so I'm looking at AirPlay and my AirPlay says mirror Apple TV. And I know that's not right. For me, when I cast my projector um, file, it has to be mirror built-in retina display. So I'm going to select that. And now I have to go full screen again inside of Adobe. So there we go. And now I'm going to check my grid again. And now it's perfect. So I'm ready to start cutting. So I'm gonna turn my grid off. I'm gonna turn my keep selected layer back on and I'm going to turn my size on. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do both options, both the hoodie with the pocket and the neckband. So the neckband, you can make it with a pocket, but for the purposes of showing you how to do the options, I like to break it down. So for me, I'm doing hoodie and pocket and then separately the neckband, but I will be cutting all the pieces out at once. Our required pieces consist of a back that's cut on the fold, a front that's cut on the fold, a waistband that can either be cut on the fold or at the seam allowance, two sleeves that are mirrored, two wristbands, and our options, you can either do a neckband or you can do a hood. For the hood, you need two pieces that are outer 
and two pieces that are liner, and those pieces, those sets, the outer set and the liner set are mirrored. So if you fold your fabric in half with the right sides together and cut them out that way, you'll get a perfect set. Our other option is the pocket, and so we need one pocket and two pocket bands. So the first thing we're going to sew is our waistband and our wristbands. And for the waistband, if you cut it at the seam allowance, put the two pieces right sides together and you'll sew down each of the short ends. I cut at the, the not seam allowance, on the fold, so I'm only going to sew this one end. For the wristbands, you fold them in half also. And you'll fold down, um, you'll fold them and you'll sew that side opposite of the fold. So this side. For your hoods, you're gonna lay them right sides together. Your outer set, right sides together. Your liner set, right side together. And you're gonna sew down this curve, which would be uh, the back of the hood if you were to be wearing it. If you're doing the neckband option, you'll fold it in half, right sides together, and you'll fold down, you'll sew down the short end. For the pocket band, if you're doing the pocket option, little opposite, you'll fold that wrong sides together, like this. And no sewing for this, just fold it that way and then give it a good press. Here we are at my serger, and we're gonna sew all those pieces. You can absolutely do this on a sewing machine. Use a straight stitch. That's totally fine for these pieces. And I'm going to start with my waistband here. This is my wristband. You can also, after you fold this together, if you fold it one more time like this, you can make a less bulky seam. I'll show you how. So that's the double fold way. We'll do the single fold way. So with the single fold, now when I go to attach it to my sleeve, I have to fold it in half again and see how big that seam is. And it's fine, it works. It doesn't really make a difference. But if your machine is a wuss, this would be the way to do it. Because it's already folded, that means you only have one seam. And then you just open it up. So I have three sides on this side, one on this side. And turn it right side out. And voila, just one seam. Little, little less thick, a little easier to deal with. Okay, so hoods. Again, I'm doing this on the serger, but you can do this on your sewing machine. So you'll be doing one or the other. You likely won't be doing both. I mean, unless you're sewing two different hoodies at once. So short ends together. And you can do this double fold method also or not. I mean, I personally, I like to do my neck band on my sewing machine, but I'm extremely lazy. So here we are. Okay. So all of these pieces are now sewn together. Oops, don't want to throw that away. And let's work on assembling our pocket. Now 
Okay, so our pocket. We're going to um, pin or clip the pocket band on. So I have one side done for you so you can kind of see what we're gonna do before we do it. All you're gonna do is take your already folded in half pocket band member, wrong sides together, and you're just going to clip it to each corner, this corner and that one. Now, when we take it over to the serger, you can use your sewing machine, we'll stretch this band, okay? Okay, we're going to sew our pocket band on. I'm just starting at one corner. I'm gonna get a couple stitches in, just so that um, the pocket band won't pop out when I stretch it. So, a couple stitches. Now, I'm going to stretch it. I mostly wanna stretch around that corner. Now I'm going to take it over to my iron and I'm going to press the seam in like this, okay? And you can top stitch your pocket also, which is just, you can take a zigzag or a decorative and just stitch from this seam on this side. You'll sew that seam down using a stretch or a straight stitch. If you use a straight stitch, try to make it kind of long, like a 3.5 looks really good for top stitching. With your pocket assembled, you'll full fold the, the edges of the pocket in one inch. So fold them, press them, and then clip them in place, okay? Now you're ready to sew the pocket onto the front of the shirt. Make sure you have the front of the shirt. You'll know it's the front because its neckline will be lower than the back, okay? Fold in half, should still already be folded in half because that's how you cut it. And just mark that center front. I mark mine with a pin. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold my pocket in half and then fold it on top of the shirt. Now we're gonna take it over to the sewing machine and using a straight stitch, we're gonna sew. We'll sew from here to here, and then stop. So just one line of sewing, one line of sewing from here to here, and then another line of sewing from here to here. Now you can also base this bottom edge right here, so that's just gonna be a super long stitch that you're gonna pull out, okay? Because if we put a straight stitch here and we don't take it out, this area won't be able to stretch anymore. And for a hoodie, you want to be able to stretch at the waist. So let's head over to the sewing machine. Okay, so let's sew our pocket on. I'm gonna do the sides first. I like to make my stitch about 3.5. And then don't forget to back stitch. And I'm just going to try to get my stitch line about an eighth inch away from this edge right here. But we have a lot of meat, so if you can't do that, quarter inch, totally fine too. Next, we're gonna sew the front and the back of the shirt together. So we're gonna lay them right sides together and then we'll take it over to the serger. If you don't have a serger, use your sewing machine and we'll sew the, um, the shoulders together. So I'll show you how. So 
So the two places I pin, those are our shoulder seams, and that's how we're going to uh, start assembling the shirt. We're gonna sew the front and the back together there at the shoulder seams. So you can use your sewing machine for the shoulder seams. Um, you use a straight stitch and then you'll press the seam open like this. For a serge, after we're done, we'll press the seam towards the back of the shirt. Okay, so next we're going to sew on the sleeves. And they may seem intimidating, but they're really not. So your sleeves for this pattern were not cut on the fold. So there is a back. And if you didn't mark your back, all you gotta do is look at your pattern piece, match them up, mark the back. I clip into my seam allowance, but you can just mark yours with like fabric chalk or a pin or a clip, whatever. Whatever makes you know what that is. And then you just fold it in half, find the middle of your sleeve, and then pin or clip it to that shoulder seam we just did. So let me show you how. Now when we take it to the machine, I'm going to take the corner of the sleeve to the corner of the shirt and I'll start sewing there, gently stretching as needed to the seam, the shoulder seam. Take the clip out and then continue sewing down to the corner. So it'll look like this. All right, let's head over to the serger and I will show you how to do it. You can do this on your sewing machine as well. Okay, so let's sew a sleeve on. So I'm starting at those corners. I'm just gonna line them up, get a couple stitches in and then uh, readjust. Okay. I'm just gonna take it section at a time. I'm gonna work on this section here between, you know, here and this seam. That's all I care about, okay? So I can do my other sleeve while I'm here. All I gotta do let me find it. There's my shoulder seam. Make sure it's pressed towards the back. Okay. My sleeve, I'm gonna fold it in half. I'll put that fold right here. Remember this is right sides together. I'm gonna clip it in place, okay? doesn't have to be exact, okay? Because the sleeve is going to match the arm side. So you'll just end up where you end up if you start at one corner, okay? Okay, so next we're just gonna fold our shirt in half and we will sew the side seams. So I'm just going to get all my raw edges lined up. And my front and my backs are together. So this, the sleeve is folded, you know, in half. And we're just gonna sew these side seams here. Okay, 
All right, we're gonna sew the side seam. I'm going to start at the bottom on my sleeve. I'm just lining up the raw edges. My shirt's right sides together. Okay, next we're going to insert our wristbands into our sleeves, line up the seam of the wristband with the seam of the sleeve. These are going inside because our shirt is inside out, so you just wanna make sure that your wristband and your sleeve are right sides together when you sew this. Okay, let's get these wristbands sewn on. The way I like to do this is I like to sew in the round. What does that mean? It means my foot is going to be inside of this circle. And I like to start at the seam. I'm just trying to line up all of these raw edges as best as possible. And I'm just going to gently stretch See how now my wristband matches that same width of my sleeve. That's why I don't need to double clip this or put 10 pins in it. It's not necessary. Okay, now we're going to turn our wristband right side out. So we fold it in half with the wrong sides together. You're gonna to mark the side opposite of your seam unless you have two seams. Now insert it into your shirt, right sides together, line up the seams, or if you have a mark, line up with the mark with the other seam. Now we're gonna take it over to our machine and we're going to sew it. Okay, we're gonna sew the waistband on and just like the wristbands, I'm starting at a seam. I only have the one seam for my waistband, so that's the seam I'm choosing to do. Remember when you sew this and if you have the pocket to make sure that that pocket is getting captured in that seam. So when you do the front, if you have the pocket, there's four pieces of fabric you'll be looking at. One, two, three, four, okay? Okay, so turn one of your hood pieces right side out and you're gonna insert it into the other piece so that they're right sides together. Straighten up all the edges, match up the seam, and then we're gonna sew up and around and then all the way down. All right, so we're doing the hood. This is the bottom of my hood. Well, one side, we'll sew from one side up and around and I'm using a straight stitch. I don't find that a stretch stitch is necessary for this part. I have four kids and pop stitches here has never been an issue. So I'm also going to top stitch it with a straight stitch. It's just me. Okay, so here we go. Okay, I'm gonna turn this right side out. Okay, there's the hood. Now, I'm going to top stitch this because I like the way it looks when it's worn. <laughs> but top stitching can sometimes be a problem. You can kind of get a wavy hood if you don't do it quite right. So here's my tips. Make your stitch long 
And so about a half inch away from the side of the hood right here. Okay. So I wouldn't want to sew right here. Too close. I'm gonna move my needle over. Okay. That's not bad. And my needle length is about 3.5. Okay. And you can back stitch here if you want. This is actually gonna get captured in the seam when we sew it to the shirt. So our hood is done. I'm going to show you real quick how to pin or clip the neckband inside of the shirt. So take your neckband and you're going to fold it in half with the wrong sides together. So seam to seam. And once you have it folded in half, you should press it. I'm not going to because I'm lazy. So now we're marking that other side of the seam. I use a pin because it's a little bit more exact. Your shirt, fold it in half, mark center front and center back. Mine is marked with a pin. And now we're all, what we're going to do is we're going to open that shirt up and we're going to insert that neckband inside the shirt because you want them right side together. So if your shirt is right side out, it would just go over the shirt. So the seam of the neckband to the center back of the shirt, right sides together. And then that mark you made opposite of that seam, that goes to center front. Now we're turning this hood, this shirt right side out. I'm going to remark those pieces and we're going to attach the hood. So I've laid my hood upside down with a liner up against my table. The seam goes to the back and then we're going to take one side of the hood and we're just going to cross it over that center front by about an inch and then pin it in place or clip it and then we're going to repeat on the other side of the hood. Just wrap it over, pin or clip it in place. You might want to baste this crossover. It, if you're lazy like me, then it's a good idea. If you're not, then you know. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna sew the hood on. And uh, before we do, let me just mention that this crossover in the front, it can be very helpful to just baste this in place. Now I said, what I did about the basting. Basting the entire neckline, you gotta remove those basting stitches. But if you're just doing this little piece right here, it's not that big of a deal. You got enough meat left to stretch that it's not gonna be a deal breaker. So, if you're like me and you're a little sloppy, baste it in place. Or, if you're like me and you're lazy, don't baste it in place. Starting at the seam in the back, gonna get a couple stitches in, and I'm gonna start working to adjust my fabric and stretching as needed. And with that, we're all done. Uh, pull your hood out or your neckband, uh, give it a press, shake it out, admire it a little. Um, and if you like this pattern, it's available for purchase at raincitypatterncompany.com. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.